Hey everybody, it's David Crawford from EXP Realty. We're at Granville Island today. We're gonna go for a little tour just to show you how amazing this place is for tourists and residents alike right after this. So Granville Island is a peninsula just south of Falls Creek and south of downtown Vancouver. Originally, the whole site was an industrial site, but was later converted to shops and hotels and all sorts of amenities for families and tourists. It houses 275 different businesses and employs almost 2,500 people on a daily basis and brings into about $215 million in revenue every single year. So we're at the Granville Island Hotel and it's been here for a long time. And I have to tell you, it's one of my favorite places, whether it's to dine out for dinner or lunch or just a cool drink on the outdoor lounge looking over the marina and Falls Creek. It's really, really a nice place. You'll enjoy staying here too. So located at the Granville Island Hotel is the Pelican Bay Marina. So if you're a boating enthusiast and you have a boat, need to moor it someplace, this is a really great location. Central to everything, easy access, and look at that view. Another iconic building is the Bridges Restaurant and Bar. Fascinating place, great food, great service, and look at that outdoor area. It's unbelievable. The views are spectacular. So nestled under the Granville Street Bridge is a little area called the Creek House. And this area houses 16 separate businesses, anywhere from soap to chocolate. Lots of little shops here. You can wander for a couple hours and have a great time. Nestled away on the north side of the island is one of my other favorite restaurants, the Sandbar. Great food, great service. It's delicious, you'll love it. There's a lot more to Granville Island than just shops and eating out. There's lots of things for the kids to do, but also for the adults. If you're looking at renting a canoe, a kayak, right here on Granville Island in the summer months, that's available to you. There's also tennis courts. So right next to the tennis courts and basketball court is the Community Association Rec Center. And in the Rec Center, there's a gym, there's licensed daycare facilities, there's rooms for rent, and a whole host of other things for your family. So located at the Falls Creek Community Center is this fabulous park area, both playground and water park. And it's fun for the whole family. On a busy, warm, sunny day, this place is packed. Nestled right beside the Granville Island Hotel is Ron Basford Park. 
Stanley Ronald Basford was elected Member of Parliament for Vancouver Centre in 1963 and served as a minister from 1967 to 1978. He is instrumental in creating Granville Island into what it is today. It's a legacy from him. So the Granville Island Public Market is the jewel of Granville Island. So this huge indoor market features a wide variety of produce, meats, and unique gifts for everyone. All fresh from the ocean, the oven, and the farmer's fields. There's also another unique little area on Granville Island. It's called the Rail Spur District. And here, all these little shops. There's woodworking, goldsmiths, artists. It's unbelievable. So many talented people. And these shops, you'll spend hours here. It's a lot of fun. Granville Island used to be home to the Emily Carr University. And because of that, there's lots of art establishments here, like the Charles H. Scott Gallery, Opus, which is the art supply store and framing store is cropped up. And there's a host of other things here that relate to the artistic world. And again, you have to be here to walk around to explore some of these things, and again, Lots and lots to do. Something very unique to Granville Island is the Granville Island Boatyard. And here, they repair all shapes and sizes of boats. And I have to tell you, it's quite intricate and very involved. It's quite interesting to wander around and just taking a look at what's going on and watching them do what they have to do. So Granville Island is surrounded on the south side by the continuation of the seawall. And there's an amazing amount of people that cycle, rollerblade, skateboard, walk, run on the seawall here. And it's a very, very busy spot and a collector to go into Granville Island. So I sure hope you enjoy this tour of Granville Island. I enjoy coming here all the time. If you like this video, hit the like button, and for more and future videos, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, have an awesome day.